All righty. So hi, if, hi, if you could add yourself. Hi, Justin. You could add yourself to the list of folks joining us today. That would be awesome. Hope everybody's doing well today. Give me a second. Add yourself and tell us how you're doing. All right, no problem, Justin. All right, well, I will share my screen and we can go ahead and get started. All right, um, so I had a couple agenda items that needed to be taken care of. One is just so folks know, we are changing the working group name from DNI to DEI and I <laughs> slowly before this meeting, slowly I'm starting to get this uh, done. So I have a the first poll request. I just started with the README. I thought that was the most sensible place to start. Um, and so I just honestly, I just went through and added um, where it was diversity. And well, we can just take a look. So it should be a pretty straightforward uh, change through here. So I don't know if anybody on the call here, thank you, Justin. I don't know if anybody on the call here has merge rights. But again, I just thought I'd start kind of first things first, let's just start with the readme and then I'll kind of cascade out from there. Hey, I should have merge rights. Don, you were muted somehow. Really? You well, now I hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, weird. Yeah, uh, weird. yeah, I should be able to. I have merge rights. If you're if we're ready for it to go, I can. There was nothing like crazy about this at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. Totally. Um, honestly, going through this, there were two things that I think we one one is uh oh whoops i didn't mean to stop sharing my screen one is i i think i we probably need to go through all the readme's <laughs> of all the working groups readme's are kind of that's what it made me realize that there are some kind of legacy things that get stuck in readme's um there were also some smaller things like sometimes we use counts in readme's, which I think should be removed, like we have five of this or seven of that. I, to me, readme's should be a little bit more general, just telling us about the working group. And um, so, so that's it. Um, so that's also on my to-do list that doesn't necessarily have to do with the DEI working group, as it is officially named now. Um, has anybody has anybody ever done updates to things like? um markdowns and all that kind of stuff I, I think we decided we were just going to leave it like wg slash diversity dash inclusion we weren't going to change all those things it seems like a cascading series of problems that i don't want to deal with yeah at this point i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about updating anything that's that's a url basically okay it's the bits that i because then you just you just break things people people deep link into stuff and okay. I know you can kind of redirect stuff maybe, but. It's... Sounds like maybe a lot of overhead for not. A, a relatively minor change, yeah. Exactly, that we're capturing in all of the text. So yeah. I'll, okay, cool. Thank you, that's the answer I wanted to hear. <laughs> so, um, awesome. 
so the next thing, um, I updated the speaker demographic. So there was a prior discussion, if you take a look below, there was a prior discussion about updating the speaker demographic metrics to kind of include a variety of, of things. And the variety of things is kind of here. As a summary, it was to, to really ask questions that the composition of the, the selection committees for keynote speakers and for tracks and for sessions was also being attentive to uh, DEI. Um, and so I, I tried to capture that and as well in another pull request, so we can go there. Also relatively small changes, all things considered, I think. Um, you can see in row 17 here, the keynote track and session selection committees are themselves diverse. I think that was something that had come up. Um, another thing that had come up, I think it was Justin had mentioned, uh, oh, the new speakers, not just repeat speakers. So it's row 16. We just also had a, an attention to new speakers from diverse backgrounds. And then the one thing that I didn't know how to really get in here was, um, do you remember the discussion last week? It was to help ensure that DEI isn't um, like attended to, but ultimately marginalized in the conference. You know, that you say we're attending to DEI and there's a DEI track on the last day, <laughs> you know, and so it, it ends up being completely marginalized in the conference. I wasn't sure row 25 was the best way that I could kind of say this simply but it, I don't feel like it's capturing it and I'm not sure how much we want to attend to this or if you have thoughts I'd, I'd love to hear them. Justin you have your hand up? Yeah can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Perfect. So just one thing that came to mind for me looking at this is thinking of um, like cross-functional like trying to find something that that builds that idea of intersectional or cross-functional activities because I, I i totally see that even in my work with with diversity and inclusion it's like it's so easy for it to be you know to be in its own bubble and then the diversity people go to the diversity talks and then all the other people in the community don't go to the diversity talks but i was actually talking about this experience with someone last week um back when in-person conferences were a thing of just a, of an experience i had where someone at the beginning of the conference, they opened up with just like uh, some reminders of like, just opening about uh, like being inclusive and trying to be mindful about how much you speak versus listen, just all these kind of things of like putting that out there in the big opening keynote where everyone's in the room, you know, and it's a big moment. And I just remember talking to someone after that where he was like, you know, and he believes in diversity and inclusion. And he was like, wow, I would never have thought about that. Like it makes so much sense. Like, wow, I should be doing, I should be doing this. So uh, kind of a long way of saying, like, I think there's, if we could explain it in a way where we're emphasizing intersectional or cross-functional, like diversity and inclusion doesn't need to be its own bubble in the event, but it fits into the other things you do. I don't know, maybe I'm just adding more words and making it more confusing. I don't know if that helps or makes it worse. It does, it definitely makes sense. Um, okay. Do other people want to comment on Justin's or maybe say it in fewer words <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> other ways to say it, that'd be cool. I so, had a, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead, Beth. I had a thought maybe that uh, diversity is prevalent. I'm not sure that's exactly the right word, but prevalent throughout the conference and not res restricted to a path or um, series. Gotcha. I don't right. think prevalent is quite the right word, but that's the way I want to lean. Found. Yeah, kind of in between those two. <laughs> okay. Um, diversity is present. Diversity yeah, present and is good. does not exist in a vacuum. How about diversity like, uh, is 
present in the crowd and not and not marginalized. I like present throughout the conference. Okay. Okay. Cool. So maybe I had tried to capture that with 25 where I said diversity is found within keynote session and tracks of oh, all topics that was trying, I was trying to, but I think the way that you just said it, Beth, is really good. So don't merge this and then done. And then I'll make the change to 25 and then it'll be done. And I'll tag you on that if that's cool. Sweet. Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Cool. Thank you. Um, so that will, and then Matt, the, I think this would then cascade to the badging program. So just to make sure that, um, I think particularly the first point, which is that the selection committees for keynotes and tracks and sessions are themselves diverse. So I'm, I'm not sure where you would put that kind of in the checklist or, or just at least under speaker demographics. I think we could put it in both speaker demographics and somewhere in the, um, like, like the application and the checklist. They generally okay. mirror each other. And I think that's a good thing to put in there. Okay. And then perhaps the second point that diversity, so there might be two, that diversity is present throughout the conference. So I think those would be really th great things to get into the badging checklist as well. Sounds great. Okay. Um, we cool. just um, started our, our two week process for um, reviewing changes. So I can get this change in before okay. we actually start looking at it the next week. And then the, the language was diversity is present throughout the conference. We can't necessarily put something like specifically that into the checklist, but we can definitely try and foster that within the events that we work with. Um, so it might be something to put into our guide on how to help yourself get uh, meet the meet the requirements for a badge, basically. Which part wouldn't you put into the checklist? Well, because badging organization doesn't necessarily measure how good the diversity is within a conference, uh -huh. or, or like, um, so we can't. I, I thought I thought I thought you were pre presenting this as like an item for the review checklist, which I don't think we can put that in there. Um, this item or the yeah that, prior? that item you just type that type down. Okay. But I, we can definitely add what you have added to the. Um, speaker demographics to the, because we need more speaker and attendee demographics questions. So that's great to have. So what about, what about including, okay, so. Uh, we, we're, in, in, in the review process, we're actually also adding, um, we're, we're removing the section where they have to pre present the demographics now and um, replacing that more with uh, their the request feedback from the speakers and attendees regarding the diversity and inclusion of the conference. Um, so that's, yeah, so so that. Um, you think this one can be added to the checklist? This is hard. This is not a, this is not really a, a line we've crossed yet is, is what okay. I, I'm, I'm totally okay with crossing the line, but I want to make sure the community is okay with that too. Okay. So I can put it Inter out for review. Yeah, do put it out. Um, so please put, I, I honestly, I think it would be great to ask conferences to also describe how they ensure that the selection committees are diverse. Okay. I think that seems very reasonable to do because a lot of the alignment between the conferences and the checklists are, are, to your point, they're just kind of things that they've put online that say we are attentive to this and this is how we're handling it. And this might be similar. Okay, that makes sense. What about the second one? You maybe would you put this out for review or not? Um, I'll put them. I, I I'm not the person who decides whether or not they go out for review, and I'll definitely okay. put them out for review. I'm I'm not a big fan of um, making judgments based on their diversity and inclusion at the how their conference is going, just because that's not what we've done in the past. But I'm open to changing the direction and going that way because it is something that we eventually needed to do. 
what if these reviews could simply say like something this is something on the website to describe the process and then yeah. this this would be um uh present so like just a, a statement diversity statement is something that would be really nice on the website oh. that recognizes um, this as uh, an important I feel like I'm typing slowly okay, how does that sound okay yeah that sounds great that you've done a lot okay. of my work for me already <laughs> <laughs> well that's why we have these meetings so that's cool yeah um, all right so I guess that kind of leads us as our weekly update on badging. So Matt, yeah, Berlin Buzzwords got a badge. Yeah, well, they're they're uh, we're just waiting on the approval um, from the person who applied Max Plane Sports, and um, they're going to um, as as soon as long as they accept the gold badge, which is the top tier badge that they have been awarded, um, we're going to go ahead and put them on the list, and they can add it to their website. Um, okay. Yeah, so, so this it's, is, it's this not is... quite done, but it's pretty much done. We've got the reviews in and everything like that. Okay, so this is getting the PR to include it on that list is waiting for their, yeah. their okay. Okay, yep. gotcha. And thank you to everybody who's become a reviewer recently. And uh, I think Matt, you're the one on here that who has, um, and we've got some more interest from other people that I, uh, and I need to add an action item to reach out to the, a couple more people. So I'm gonna add that in. Do we have an updated reviewer list at the moment? Yeah. Um our put it, it it exists in JSON, so I just need to put it in text and put it on and add it as a pull request to the website. Okay. So that's my AI too. Okay. Can you where is it is the reviewer list only JSON for you? Is it it's it's JSON, JSON for the for I manage else? it on the bot. And it's beautified JSON. Oh, um, but, okay. Uh, so I need to put it into uh, HTML table format and put it on the site. Yeah. Again. It's just very simple housekeeping stuff. Um, so just get it. You need to get this as a table. Okay. okay. Is that right? Something like that. Like I just like Correct. recognizing the reviewers a little bit more explicitly. All right. Oh, I should also update. Um, I am me, I, I suppose I shouldn't put I. Matt G is getting um, things like stickers that we can send. Send to folks to thank them for their review work. And Matt, you and I, honestly, when we are you gonna start being like on campus in the summer? I believe so. I think I have a class on campus at least half time. Okay, because maybe when that gets to be the case we could because at some point i need to like physically get these to you <laughs> yeah like sounds now good. is not now is not quite the time but maybe towards the summer we can arrange that sounds good okay and then we could also talk through just kind of how to how to get that done like to get it sent out to people okay um thank you matt and thank you everybody for all of the batching work that you're doing um, so we had this from last time, which was the diversity with regards to bandwidth. Um, no resolution since last time. I thought maybe we should just tag the issue to see kind of what's what's going on with that. Because to I think it was Don's point last time. Until we have the original author, we probably shouldn't make judgment calls <laughs> on which direction the metric should go. So uh, still just holding off. No problem there. Um, one of the things that the last thing, honestly, that I had on my agenda was 
Okay, so as, as you all know, we're doing the chaos self-reflection, right, as, which is how we can center DEI as a critical part of the chaos project. Do people have thoughts? I just, I took a really, really fast screen capture of the, the um, navigation at the chaos page. And this is what we have currently at the top. So about community chaos con software metrics initiatives participate and donate. So we're getting a little busy up there, but <clears throat> they're starting to get to be some really, I think, important diversity and inclusion efforts, um, whether it's badging or whether it's the self-reflection. So part of me says, what if could we find real estate in this banner somewhere to put DEI as a top level banner. I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. Just because we're doing so much in this. And so like get rid of, I don't know, initiatives or get rid of donate. Like, I don't think anybody donates, but like, I know we're limited in space. We can't just keep adding things across the top, but making DEI more prominent is one of the things that we are doing and contributing to in in chaos, I think is is something that we should think about. Yeah, I would we, say move D and D and I were contribute uh, not contribute donated and move donate under community. Okay, so one Does thought is to, yeah, it did so it was to um, move donate under community. Might also move donate under participate too. Yeah. Is it just a different kind of way of participating? Just another idea. No, I like that. Okay. I'm actually driving, so I'm not like watching the slides. Okay. The screen, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going no off of what Matt says. No problem. Um, yeah, I hate, I hate to Don, suggest you this. Have a thought? I, I and this is just for thoughts right now. So yeah, I mean, I, I sort of wonder if if we should have Kevin do kind of a um, what do you call it, like a con, like a content review. A mock -up. No, not a mock-up. There's like there's like a whole process for reviewing like the user experience. Sorry, do like a real like you know what what do we want the user experience on the website to be, and have that help drive some of the organization because I think. Okay. Honestly, like I think that the way that the website is organized is not particularly intuitive in a lot of different ways. So we have we have community as a link, which doesn't take you to the participate. Participate's a separate thing that's not part of community. And so I feel like I feel like you know an initiatives. What what's that? Nobody knows what that is until you click on it. Um, and so I I feel like maybe we don't have the right things up there. Um, I'm a big yeah, fan. DEI up there, but I just think right now, I yeah, I I, okay. I think I think someone with a better like eye for user experience and like like a like there's a whole thing around this like web web content. So, somebody who knows more about marketing should talk. Um, there's okay. like a, do this because part participate and community should be in the same area because you're participating in the community. Okay. So it doesn't make sense if they're separate. I would, is there a company that can do this? Like Kevin's, like Kevin's, I think, good at managing. I don't know that he's on here and I don't particularly like speaking on other people's behalf, but like Kevin's good at, at managing a lot of the WordPress stuff. But I, his, his experience also, to your point, Amy and Don, is not really with like user experience. His experience is not necessarily in that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So would it be worth, I mean, I personally, I have the funds that we could do an audit like that, that might help kind of guide us in a better direction. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there, there are consulting companies that do that. It's kind of a okay. basic like, like web content user experience thing. Okay. I think there's a specific word for what I'm asking for that I can't remember. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but so, there are people okay. that do this. There's like a whole art form to like, you know, looking at the content, figuring out yep. what's and structuring it in a way that is intuitive for people. Okay. 
So we, in the badging project, we were talking about this this morning. I think Ruth brought this up. Um, there's an organization that's having a contributathon coming up, and we were looking at doing some kind of UX or user user um, user experience kind of thing for badging too. Um, so maybe that we can go along the same. I, I'm not even thinking we need to use that contributathon as much as I'd like to use the contributathon. But I mean, if we're doing something um, parallel, we'd, I'd rather we do it on the same avenue. So if yeah. we, maybe we can do this with badging too, or uh, the contributathon is through She Code Africa, which is can really you, cool. It looks like. Can you put some of those links and thoughts in here, Matt? Yeah, I'll put them in, in, in the minutes. minutes. Yeah. One other thing, um, Emily, who works at Leading Bit with me, is uh -huh. really pretty good at this. Um, I can check in with her and see if she would have time. Um, is there a, a like a time restriction? I know earlier is always better, but I also know she has like a deadline coming up in a week. No, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so like in in the next month, if she has time to go over and give some notes. In the yeah. Next year. <laughs> Yep. No, if someone's going to donate their time, we'll do it on their schedule. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll check, I'll check in with her and see if she would be interested in that, because I think that's definitely something she would be interested in. She's not here today because she's up against that deadline, so I okay. get to be here instead, which is great, because I love this meeting. <laughs> and let me, I'll, I'll guess I'll reiterate it. I mean, I had said earlier that we would have funds to, I mean, this is a, I think this is a really important issue the marketing and the presentation of material. So, and um, point being, I think we have funds and I think that improving the layout and content delivery for chaos is a pretty easy case for me to make as improving the project as a whole. So, <laughs> so I don't wanna say you, I don't know that Beth, you necessarily just need to approach her as a pure contribution like just voluntary contribution, but if I'm going to offer um, a company <laughs> to do the consulting work, then if a person can do it too, that would be awesome. Okay, well, I will check in with her and see if, uh, I mean, she can probably look at the site and go, this is going to take me an hour, I'm happy to do this, or this is going to take me six hours. If someone's mm -hmm. willing to discuss that, maybe, you know, she can offer a lower than normal rate. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that because I think she'd be happy to support this effort. Okay. So Beth, if you want to, when you, she can sync with me to out of band a little bit, if that's, if that works for her too. Again, if it works, not, not to say that she's going to do the job, but cool. Alrighty, thank you everybody, very thoughtful. So look, I'm at the end, look at that, it's like a cliff, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> so, um, Does anybody have things that they'd like to bring up? I, I did have a metric, some metric work here, but I wasn't sure how long this would take and I didn't want to rush anything at the end, but um, does anybody have anything they'd like to bring up with respect to work that's going on either badging wise or things they want to talk about in the future? Amy, yeah? Um, I'm not, because I came in late. Have we discussed the FSF issue? The, we have not. Do we want to come up with something? Uh, yes. We no and, and yes. So um, why can't I make that go out further? So and it may not be this group who actually comes up with something. So it kind of seems like it's in our wheelhouse. What about I know that there's a board meeting coming up, or at least potentially coming up. <laughs> it's not on the agenda, but or like not, I don't think it's on the calendar yet. But I would suspect it's in April or May. Would do you think this would be better suited there? I mean, yes and no. If it's April, that's sooner. But if it's not till May, if we do have strong feelings, I think we need to say something before then. Okay. Um, maybe. How about? It might be worth having a sooner board meeting with whoever can attend. Let me get inviting the and I folks. Okay. 
trying to think of the best way forward to um, to recognize this issue and also to your point, Amy, attend to time. Don, did you have a comment? I was gonna say, I mean, I think this is something that we can address on the email board list. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. I mean, I, I think I, this is I think this is something we could do via email. I wouldn't okay. Convening a board meeting is more logistically difficult than one might imagine. Um, I don't think we need one for this particular thing. Okay, I'll reach out to um, Nicole and Georg, who are co-directors, to start this, if that works for folks. Yep. Okay. And um, I, I think um, it's, an, we're not looking to have any kind of, are we looking to have some kind of public statement? Are we allowed to, like, like entitled by law to do that kind of thing? Um, or are we just looking to talk about it and see what we're going to do about it? Uh, my, that's a good question. I don't know. I, so I, I first learned about this issue, not from Twitter or Facebook or anything, but I got an email from Outreachy and uh, that, they, yeah. that they acquired the participation. And uh, I think that was a really well-worded email that helped me uh, kind of form my own opinions about it and was very um, kind of like professional. I think that's a good way to, a good way to look at it, I think. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'll probably reach out to somebody at the Linux Foundation too, just to like <laughs> figure out how all that works, because I think that's important as well. All right. Uh, thank you, Amy, for bringing that up. I would say my pleasure, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I appreciate uh, it. it. It just seems like. If you don't, if we don't say something, we're saying it's okay. Okay. Um, well, I've got a couple things to do on that, so no problem there. Any other items that people would like to bring forward? Going once, going twice. All right. We are now at the end, so thank you, everybody. It is good to see everyone. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And if I don't see you, you have a wonderful week. And if I don't see you next week, you have a wonderful week and another week. <laughs> and however long after that. <laughs> Personal time is critically important. So it is. I take vacationing very seriously, even if it's yes. vacation. I do not want to see you. All I want to see is drinks and food. Posted on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> I feel that. I feel and books. You can post pictures of books. That's allowed. Oh, there you go. I'll take pictures of my Kindle. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. It's great to see all of you. Thank Thanks, you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 All.